And, you know, what would you say to somebody who is, yeah. you know, either questioning, am I really in my life purpose or, you know, how do I find my purpose? Um, how do I have more yeah. purpose in my life? What would you say cool. to somebody with those questions? So I want to tackle that question because it's a simple question, but it's also a complex question. And I want to tackle that question from a few different levels. Um, I, I tell people, stop seeking your purpose. Stop seeking your purpose. Your purpose is not necessarily something you have to go and find. On a spiritual level, this very moment right now of your existence is the very purpose of your life. The ego is constantly seeking some purpose other than this moment to fulfill something, to find something. But the ego, which is really what we perceive ourselves to be, wants to seek and seek and seek and not really find. And so in many ways, the constant seeking of our purpose takes us away from the very purpose that is right now. So on a spiritual level, this moment is your purpose. Right now is your purpose. And what I mean by that is, we are first and foremost, we are souls. We're souls. We incarnate into this human experience. To me, this human experience is like a university for our soul's growth and evolution. To me, this is life is like a school for us to grow and evolve. And every experience and every situation and every relationship and every single thing we go through is part of the curriculum for our soul's growth and evolution. And if we understand that first and foremost, we're souls and we don't just look at life from a one dimensional sort of goal line level, but we look at life from a soul line level, then it doesn't really matter on that deeper, bigger spiritual level what we do. What matters more is regardless of what is happening and regardless of what we're doing and regardless of what we're going through, and regardless of who we're with, regardless of what's happening out here, am I learning? Am I growing? Am I evolving? Am I learning the lessons? But why am my soul attracted this experience, this relationship, this breakup, this challenge, this this roadblock? Am I learning the lessons or am I, from why my soul attracted this situation? And am I becoming more of my authentic self? Am I becoming more of my true nature? Because ultimately, all lessons are repeated until learn. And if we realize that that life is then the process of evolution. So if I'm a soul and we're here to learn, grow and evolve and life is a process of evolution, then every moment and every aspect and every relationship and everything in life is serving your growth and evolution so long as you're willing to learn. Then you realize that all of life is the purpose of life so long as you are learning and evolving. So the purpose of life is evolution. And on that bigger level, first and foremost, if you're evolving, even if like I'm not sure what my purpose is, Ask yourself, why am I going through this experience? Why am I attracting this experience? And then if you're able to do the inner mental, emotional, spiritual, psychological, therapeutic healing, regardless of what's going on, then you are fulfilling your purpose. That's kind of one level. Now, for those that might be like, but what the hell do I do now? Like, I, I want to do something. I want to express something in the world. Then I would still say, to make it even more practical, stop seeking your purpose. The ego wants to seek and seek and seek. That's one of the ways it reinforces itself and it doesn't want to find. And so it continues seeking. And many times we spend our entire life seeking some elusive purpose out there that we think is going to magically happen. And we end up standing on the sidelines, never living what is actually in front of us to live now because we're busy waiting for some magical purpose to appear. So what I would say to you, if you're still not sure, like, okay, I understand that I'm a spiritual being and I'm here to evolve, but I still want to do something with my, I want to express something in this world. Stop seeking for some purpose out there. Your purpose is not something you find. So what do you do? I would invite you to simply take a step and go in the direction. There's four things. Go in the direction of what lights you up. Go in the direction of what makes you come alive. Go in the direction of what turns you on. What makes you come alive? What turns you on? What lights up your being and your soul? You don't have to know what your purpose is and what, what that expression is in order to, to get to exactly where you need to be, but you do need to take a step 
and move in the direction. When you take a step in the direction of what turns you on and lights you up, you take a step. What I have found is life reveals to you the next step. You take another step. Life reveals to you the next step in the process of living life. It's a revelation, but many times from the sidelines and our current level of consciousness, we're trying to figure out the entire pathway, the entire road to our purpose from our current level of consciousness. And you can't figure out the ultimate purpose for why you're here based on the current dimension and identity of who you are now. Every step you take, you grow, you evolve. You grow, you evolve, you expand your consciousness. You expand your consciousness, you develop more internal power, you become more available, you become more ready. Life then, God gives you more, then gives you more. So your purpose often ends up revealed to you in the process of living itself. So step one, go in the direction of what turns you on. For me, I love speaking. And so I would literally do it for free. I would sneak into my father's church and I was speaking two hours a night, living my purpose for free with no one around. So that's a sign that turns me on. We're doing this podcast. This is the source of aliveness for me. I'm not being paid, but it's just, this is like, I feel most alive when I'm sharing my gifts, my talents and the message that I feel life is seeking to express to me. So what makes me come alive? Number two, ask yourself, because that alone is not enough. You might say, well, I love freaking basketball. But if you're two foot one, probably you're not going to be an NBA you know, basketball player. You're not going to, if I love Formula One, but I'm not going to be the next Lewis Hamilton. So chances of that being my purpose as a race car driver, probably not. And so I would say, ask yourself, what tangible specific skills do you have? What tangible skills do you have? And if you look back, many times we don't value the skills that we have because they come easy to us. And if you look back at every single job you've had, every single experience you've been through, every single job that you've hated has probably been a necessary growth uh, evolutionary opportunity for you to learn a particular skill. And even though that job wasn't the ultimate purpose, this is why I tell people even if you're working a job that you hate, learn what you need to learn because there's probably something even in that job that you hate that you're needing to learn, that's going to be a necessary puzzle piece for the ultimate expression of your purpose. And so look at what tangible skills you have, that's being practical, then look at what unique problems that you are gifted and able to solve. To me, making money is a function of adding value when you add value when you solve someone's pain, problem or challenge. And so look at what are the what are the problems in the world? What are the things I complain about? And what unique gifts do I have that might be able to solve someone's pain, problem, or challenge and add value? And that also might point you in the direction of where your purpose is. And lastly, I would say, look at what group of people, the whales, the elderly, you know, teenage, you know, pregnant girls, you know, uh, uh, doesn't even really matter. But what group of people do you feel a, a soul connection to, an affinity to? Uh, a resonance with that also might point you in the direction of the group of people you're here to serve many times. And here's a mistake people make. We're looking for a big purpose. We're waiting for some big, magnificent purpose. And I tell people simply look around you right now and respond to the need in the moment, if you respond to the need that is right in front of you, likely life will give you more. 18 years ago, when I first came to the US, I would sit on a park bench, I was broke as hell. I would sit on a park bench and I would marinate and pray and meditate on like, what's my purpose? Well, what am I here to do? How am I gonna do it? How am I gonna fulfill? And this went on for about three months. And every day I would see this elderly woman, a Russian woman, elderly Russian woman. She must have been in her 80s, little tiny, like four foot seven, tiny little woman struggling with grocery bags every day, shit falling everywhere, stuff lying everywhere. But every day I would see this woman from my park bench while I was meditating on what's my purpose. God, I want to do some big thing to save humanity. And one day I woke up and I said, here I am sitting about here I am meditating, sitting around, waiting for some big purpose when right in front of me is this woman who clearly needs help. And how am I, and I saw for myself, how am I going to be entrusted with millions, thousands, if I'm not even responding to helping one? Yeah. And so many times so we have true. this idea 
but we're not responding to what's in front of us. So I say start with where you are, with who you are, exactly as life is, and respond to the need in the moment. And that will lead, that will surely lead you to more. So I got my ass off the park bench and went and helped her with her groceries. And that led to an amazing friendship and understanding a lot. And she gave me many gifts. Thank you for listening to this short clip from the Nathan Crane podcast. Please share this on social media. And to listen to the full podcast, visit NathanCrane.com.